Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Badly. Yes. Welcome back to Persona 3 Reload, where we have Yukari here. Um, <laughs> we've been going through the social link stuff, uh, kind of finally getting into some normalcy, as normal as things can be. We were introduced to Ryoji here, who is apparently a player or something. <laughs> Something, yeah. He's getting some Teddy vibes if you played Persona 4 a little bit. That's what it is. I was wondering what, what was like so familiar about him specifically. Yeah, they're they're not exactly the same. Teddy's much more absurd, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he could also be Pharos. We don't know. Um, yeah, we don't know. He's a mysterious guy that we have a weird feeling about, but he's also like asking out every girl in school. And right. Yukari has rejected him twice, and it's very funny. Yeah, um. and I guess <laughs> when first meeting him was like, you're dangerous. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, yeah. So there's something up with him, for sure. And we're going to see if we can progress toward figuring that out. Yep. We also have the class trip to Kyoto coming up this week, so that'll be fun. Yeah, it promises to be a good time. Heck yeah. Um. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, we are Silly Bunch. So, you know, hope you're here for a good laugh. Uh, we at least make ourselves laugh, if nothing else. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see all of Persona 3 Reloaded from the first episode instead of from the 42nd, uh, please feel free to check the playlist tag up at the top right. It'll be there for you if you want it. Otherwise, welcome. Welcome. Yes, indeed. We are going to fire this episode off with uh, Lovers Rank 8, so we are going to hang out with Yukari. Hey, today. girl. Oh, hey, Yukiku. Hey. Are you heading home? I was thinking of going out somewhere first. Seems Yukari wants to walk home with me. I have Titania. So we will boost our rank. Outstanding. Oh, you're coming too? Great. Uh, let's head to Polonia Mall then. There are a few things I wanted to check out. Hey, mind if I go take a look at some earrings? Yeah, sure, go ahead. I've been wanting new ones, but I can never seem to make up my mind. They're all so cute, you know? There are too many options to choose from. I know! Why don't you come help me pick something out? <laughs> oh boy, so we're gonna say all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too lazy. Yeah, all right is fine. <laughs> yeah! Come on then, let's go! Let's go! Uh-oh. Uh, hang on, I've got a call. Hello? Uh-huh. <laughs> what? You're not doing it? You want my approval first? Wait, it's fine. <laughs> you can do what you want to do. <sighs> what I mean is, if that's what you really want, then go ahead. It's your choice, so you really don't have to worry about me. Well, then, do you want to meet up and talk about it? <sighs> this must be her mom. Hey! Stop it, don't cry. I'll try to I call you more too, okay? All right. Bye. Probably in relation to like a <sighs> boyfriend. And that was my mom. She I apologized suspect that's right. for everything that's happened. Mm. She said she won't get remarried until I'm okay with it. Oh, that's right. I forgot that was the whole shtick for this. That's weird. <laughs> so I can't stop shaking for some reason. Can we sit for a while? Absolutely. I sat with Yukari until she calmed down. Sorry about all that. I'm fine now. I was just surprised. I never expected this to happen. I told her we could meet up and talk about her remarriage. <laughs> I'm nervous just thinking about it. And we can choose either one here. Hmm. Do you want to see her? I don't exactly want to. I'm afraid it might get ugly. We haven't seen each other in almost 10 years. That's so a long time not to not see your easy. mom. I'm afraid it I'll is. get angry and say something cruel. Still, I think it's time I try talking to her. I've been saying how wrong it is to run away. So I need to live up to my own advice. You know, I think she still misses my dad deep down, but she couldn't handle it. Losing someone so important to her. That's why she needed someone to lean on. I 
think losing someone you love and having to go on alone is really, really hard. I'm not sure mm. how to explain, but I realized this after being with you. I think being in love means giving a part of yourself away. That's and certainly that's true. that's a wonderful thing. <laughs> I mean, just in general, you know? Sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mikari's feelings are coming out. It seems we've grown closer. Guess what rank nine is, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the earrings can wait till next time. Let's just go home for today. Okay, I decided to go back to the dorm. Yeah, you've been voting in our polls, you know. Yeah. <laughs> If you've even looked at them, you know, it's yeah by a landslide. Yeah, indeed. Uh, box on the counter. Oh, right. The uh, tote. Sid's jacket. Sid's jacket. Oh, boy. I want to look at this Welcome item. Back. What's up, dude? Tomorrow's a skill trip, dude. I'm so psyched, dude. Kind of <laughs> sucks that we're only going to Kyoto, though, dude. Huh? <laughs> Junpei seems like I have his energy back. I guess there was no reason to worry about him. <laughs> Huh? What are you talking about? I'm always energetic. Yeah, the way, right, man. Yeah, right. By the way, you better behave while we're gone. Don't go throwing any parties, got it? Yes. I won't. Oh, and please don't worry about bringing me back a souvenir. Huh? Hey, are you trying to use reverse psychosis on me or something? <laughs> Too bad. No, of course not. It's just that Kyoto has a lot of great tasting snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, reverse psychosis got me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Junpei, what? Oh. Let's take a yeah, look let's at this. Take, yeah. Oh, oh, that looks... Oh. oh. Dude, put that on. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Main, main character, yeah. Endure is fantastic. Um, we are going to get a better armor option, I know that, but that is really good yeah. for main character, because main character goes down, it's game over. So, yeah. Okay. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Ooh, he could use an upgrade. Yeah. Give him the ballistic vest, I guess. Staff jacket, no fear. How come he can wear the fiery vest? Oh, perfect for Sonata, that's why. Let's do that, actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. The ice evasion medium is good, too. Mm-hmm, yeah. Just double checking everybody here. Rock dog suit. Oh right. Oh, she doesn't need any of this though, because now this is her helper. Yeah, hers doesn't matter. I don't think invigorate affects her actually, because she doesn't take turns in battle. Right. All right. As it were. Okay, so we've gotten in the evening. We are going to use the lobby PC, All and right. we're going to use the dating site note. Fascinating. Repaid offering and pass. And we're going to use it on Fuka. Oh. This time seems to require an offering. Luckily, the note came with a free pass. Thank you for the offering and welcome to the Matchmaking Super Shrine. Picture <laughs> anyone you wish to intensify your relationship with and click the button below. Oh, I see. Who should I think of? Yeah, so Fuka Yamagishi, all this is going to do is add some points to the High Priestess Arcana. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, I like all the pic <laughs> Hi, Maya. <laughs> yeah, that's the real person. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. All right, Fuka. Yep. I'll think about Fuka and click the button. Great. Current progress, 3%. Continue focusing while we wait. Okay. Progress bar seems stuck at 3%. I'll continue to think of Fuka. We are complete. Your relationship has intensified. Doodly doo. Seems the prayer is done. Having meditated on our relationship, Fuka feels more important to me. I feel like the bond I have with Fuka has grown stronger. If you'd like to ask for another prayer, please purchase another offering pass. What a weird URL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gotten late. I should head back to my room. Yeah, that one's that one is strange for sure. Foul show. Today, 17. I'm living on the class field trip. The train is scheduled to arrive in Kyoto in the afternoon. I hope we make some good memories. Agreed. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. 
Kyoto, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? Thank goodness, she actually made it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a question if she'd be, if she'd be going at all. Yeah, I'm glad she made it. We transferred to a tour bus after arriving at Kyoto Station. The sun has already set. Good night. Been seeing a lot of students with masks on lately yeah it's kind of interesting although that is kind of a common thing in japan as well yeah there's a lot of mask wearing which is you know that's a, that's a cool thing about that culture in my opinion uh, yeah i mean specifically if they're dealing with like some kind of cold or sickness they'll wear a mask and continue to do their daily stuff um, yeah and that's true for a lot of asian uh countries at least from my mm. from what I've seen, um, but I just what I guess what makes it notable to me is that like I'm seeing students in GekkoCon High School wearing them, and now we see them here in the hotel. Which like, those are students from GekkoCon, but I just I wonder if it's it's tied into the app the uh, apathy syndrome. Yeah, ap apathy, yeah, it could be. I mean. You know, it's generally worn for flu season and stuff like that. So it right. could be, could be indicating they're coming down with something, if you will. Yeah, right. And here we are. Whoa, nice place. Yeah, this part of town is pretty fancy. Hey, what's that umbrella for? <laughs> Fashion. <laughs> uh, in case the roof leaks. <laughs> <laughs> Want to get under it? Oh my. Uh, fashion, I guess. Sure, why not? Ah, I see. So that's the style here in Kyoto, huh? So, which way to the geishas? You think we can ask them to put on a show? Bro, calm down. Oh, Dude. that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. Junpei, do not encourage this behavior. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Junpei. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open air hot springs I've heard about? <laughs> Why don't you find out? I think that's the courtyard. Oh dear. Right, this is the courtyard. Wanna go out for a walk later, I guess? Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? All right, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Hey. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. What is I happening? Here with us, Junpei, guy's room. Man, I don't know I, weirdness. I, <laughs> <man. laughs> I guess what. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so we're here. Um, talk to the six Hara clerk on the first floor. I'm not sure where they are. I assume at a kiosk or something like that. Come on in. Welcome. Catch your eye? What would you like? Uh, buy everything. It says. Okay. All right, easy enough. 50 HP yep. to one ally. Right. Much appreciated. 
Yeah, I think these might have a different use or something. Probably. Hey, baby. Hey. Why? Why? Because I don't know. Good evening. Yeah, you're speaking. Is this not amazing? We are here in Kyoto. You don't need me to speak for you. I'm shocked. This is true Japanese aesthetic. Simple but elegant. Hmm. Oh, just look at this pagoda. My, my. How does it stand with only matchsticks? Behold, the wonders of Japan. I like baby. Yeah, baby is great. Oh, hey, man. Well, look <laughs> who we have here. Is the Kyoto cuisine to your liking? <laughs> I'm the gourmet king. Honestly speaking, I have little interest in the plant-based fare they have going on here. I sampled the food the souvenir shop had to offer, but I find myself unimpressed. Okay, buddy. Okay, so we got a vending machine here that we're going to want to buy everything from as well. Hmm. And then talk hey, to whoever up? you'd like, really. Hurry up and get to your rooms. I don't want to get yelled at for your behavior. Yes, do you know which room you're in? Uh-huh. Um, to get, to get to your room, go up the stairs, turn right. Your room will be on the right-hand side at the end of the hall. All right, cool. <laughs> I tried my hand at sneaking out, but still got cut. Well, guess we ought to head to our room now. Come on, let's hustle. Or else Miss Toriyumi might get pissed at us. Hey there. You know the hot springs here is really famous? Every few hours, there's a surprise. What? Okay. Does she think she's being immature or something? You don't read the newspaper, do you, senpai? Her father recently died. You seriously didn't know? Okay. Okay. Up the stairs, I assume. Vending machine. Yeah, indeed. Buy all three of these. Hmm. All right. Oh, here you go. Oh, hey. Even though we were just on a train the whole day, I'm feeling pretty tired. Travel will do that. But you know what? I've been totally psyched for this trip. I want to sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast they'll never see it coming. Perfect. Everyone says tomorrow's the ordinary sightseeing. What's so ordinary about it? Well, I just follow along and see for myself. Yes, indeed. Honestly, staying at an inn like this doesn't feel much different from our everyday dorm life. That's true. I think I'll just head to bed. Hopefully my run tomorrow proves to be more exciting. Mm -hmm. Serious student. Just because we're on a trip doesn't mean we can go crazy and do whatever we want, you know? If I knew we'd be trapped in our rooms, I'd have brought games or something. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it, it looks like the second floor has the Fuji room, which is where we will be staying, and we'll go to sleep there. Fuji room. All right. Yes, indeed. So there's no other vending machines or anything else we need to grab here? Nope, nothing else at the moment. Okay. Uh, we should be all set for the first day of our trip. All right, well, then let's go have a snooze. Yes, indeed. Return to room. School excursion, day dose. Oh boy. Today's itinerary visiting Kyoto's historical sites. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm Ryoji. I went sightseeing around Kyoto about about uh aboard a tour bus. Ooh, goodness. It was much more exciting seeing the historical locations in person than in photos. In the afternoon, we all went our separate ways at the Kamogawa River near the hotel. Hmm. Interesting. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together. 
And now that fight is over. Is it? We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. Mm. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. Ooh. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened. I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. It's all coming out. But it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> You know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. Hmm. He was involved in dangerous work, but... In the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started? That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end. For my father's sake. And for yours. Mm. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together. Okay? Of course. Here it is. That's All awesome. Alright, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. So you did some peer review. Yeah, the uh -huh. outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, no. This is awkward. <laughs> hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. Hmm. And there I won't go. turn back anymore. You haven't been alone. There it is. I was hoping this would be the moment where she gets her evolution. Oh, look at that bamf. Yup. Resolution of Mitsuru's heart has awakened a new persona. Artemisia. Yeah. Really cool. That's a dope persona. Mm-hmm. I like that one. New theurgy. Mm-hmm. Massive almighty damage to one foe. Oh. And lowers all their stats. So, yeah, that's a huge almighty hit and debilitate. Oh, well, Fantastic. I guess we got our new favorite theurgy. <laughs> yeah, that one's amazing. Please. I love that one. Watch over me. Mm. Good. Like, I'm sad that she physically got slapped, but maybe that's what got her to get out of her own head a little bit. Yeah, seems like maybe she needed it. Just snap out of it kind of thing. Yeah. You're not alone. All right. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? So, Besides looking today. In this robe. Yeah. Yeah, so we can talk to some people about what we are doing as a Ryoji linked episode. We are talking to him on the second floor. Gotcha. Feel free to poke around here first. I'll go talk to baby again. Yeah, why not? Ah, right? 
You are wearing a yukata. I also wish to try wearing one, but uh, it was très difficile. Very challenging. The string, it got tangled up and uh, and my clothes came off. Oh. <laughs> but you Buddy. look fabulous. I am envious. Listen, I, I help. I wanted to feel like the evil magistrate. <laughs> you know, the kind who says things like, Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I am quite villainous on the tele... Mm. On the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, looks like you're still wet behind the ears. Listen closely, all right? No gourmet worth their salt will be caught wearing a yukata. Hmm. Wheat! Our belly expands, the sash gets too tight, so we loosen it. Then we eat some more, we loosen the sash more, the sash falls off, we're left in the nude. You follow me? Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Upstairs. Whatever, man. <laughs> Sonata. It seems like Mitsuru's overcome her pain. I don't know what happened, but I'm relieved to see that she's feeling better. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're wearing a yukata. Looking good. Thank you. <laughs> it's a different look than usual. Maybe I should go get changed too. Oh, I didn't recognize him without his egregiously yellow scarf. Hey there. I know, right? Oh, Makoto-kun, I had a favor to ask. Yukari-san told me there's a riverbank nearby with a great view. Would you like to check it out with me tomorrow? Spend my free time with Ryoji tomorrow? Sure. Promise Ryoji. Yep. Show. Sure. Great. Sounds like a plan. I'll come find you when we start heading back tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, that's the flag, right? Uh, it is a flag for hanging out tomorrow. Yeah. Right. For a linked episode. Yes, it is a linked episode. It's linked episode three. Yep. For Ryoji. Should we change our assigned persona? Or should we just keep giving stats to Mata? Uh, it's up to you. Um, I don't know that I have much of an opinion, but anything that we want some more stats on, Mata's not bad. Trumpeter might be a good. Because Trumpeter's a pretty solid persona. Yeah. Um... I, I don't have a big... I don't have an opinion on that. I'll just leave it a motto then. Yeah, sure. All right. Ooh, sword. All right. Sword. Yeah, so there's nothing else to do this evening. Uh, we will go to sleep. <laughs> that picture. <laughs> uh... School excursion day three. Today's itinerary, free time within the city. Nice. The 19th. Fitzru seems to have cheered up. Good job, Yukari. <laughs> She's being friendly with her classmates, and especially Yukari. I wonder what happened. It's hmm. a secret. You'll never know. That's right. I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Nice. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. I like it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. The evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. Did you know, a long time ago, 
This place used to be an execution site. Hmm. That's ominous. Wow. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to darken the mood all of a sudden. And that stuff happened a long time ago. Besides, it's still nice and bright out right now. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? It's a good question. Mm. And one that none of these will adequately answer. Which one do you think is the better answer of these? Tough one, right? I actually don't really like any of them. They're <laughs> too limited in scope. Mm, yep. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go with those connections are inevitable. But All right. we can we can hash that out here more in a minute. <laughs> yeah. So you mean you can't escape it? But from what I can tell, everyone around here wants to have that kind of relationship. If they were just forced together by circumstances, I don't think they'd look so happy. Hmm? Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its hmm. destination is already decided. But it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm. Other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey. With all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking <laughs> together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water. We should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. <laughs> I walked along the riverbank with Ryoji and then returned to the hotel. I feel like I understand him a little better now. All stats. Raised by one. Right. I received a message. Let's head up the hot spring. We're going. No ifs or buts about it. I mean, we just gotta. Come find me when you're free. I should talk to Junpei later. About his horrible mm. behavior. I mean... Yep. Uh, we are going to, I believe, speak with Junpei this evening. Yep. Feel free to talk with anybody before that, but I think to progress things, we have to talk to him. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, hey. Yeah, so just to kind of expand, and this is a really complex topic, so... Yeah. We can I keep it agree. relatively limited or not, just depending on how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. But I went with inevitable for this choice, but I kind of feel like all three of them are, are pieces of the answer, right? Mm, yeah. Um, I think it's inevitable in the sense that if you're around anybody long enough, you're bound to form a connection with them on an emotional level to some degree. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of intrinsic to our human nature to assign value to things whether we mean to or not right um, and so 
whether it's my child or someone I'm just meeting for the first time, there's going to be an imprint of an impression hmm. in that interaction. Right. So I think there's an inevitable nature to it. I think that relationships and community have been proven through research and study to be a necessary part of our functionality. And, sure. and so we yeah. need that community to survive. We're social creatures. Right. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's the whole reason why we have like, what is it? The pyramid of needs or whatever. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Yeah, there yes. it is. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure relationships is in there. Like, yeah, sort yeah, of. it's, it's near the top. Um, so the closer you get to the top, the more, the idea is you build with the most basic needs. So, you know, at the bottom is things like food, you know, the basic survival needs, right. you know. Um, and then as you get higher on the pyramid, it's things that would build on top of the ones below it. So right. the very top of the pyramid is self-actualization, which has its own thing that we don't need to get into. But it's basically knowing yourself, right. you know, self-awareness. And then I think right below that is social interaction or, you know, meaningful relationships, right. that sort of thing. So it's a psychological need that we have right. uh, to be understood, to have family, um, you know, friends, a significant other, you know, uh, all of these relationships that define us in a way. So, yep. Yeah. And, and then, of course, that kind of ties into the we not wanting to be by ourselves, too. I, and some people need different levels of that. You know, I mean, I'm sure there are people out there like, I don't need anybody ever. But like, it's just not true. You you need at least somebody. That person you need, they might only be one or two people. And some people need like 30. It just kind of depends on how they function. So you're saying that everybody needs somebody. To love. Yes, absolutely. To love. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> that's why no, I mean, that's why we have songs yeah. about it, right? Uh, yeah. Countless of ballads about and now we we're talking about romantic, uh, talking about these ballads and songs and stuff. But like this extends to friendships, families, acquaintances, mm -hmm. like there's an innate need for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's it's interesting because uh, connections are such a big part of this game as well. Right. You know, we've got social links. Uh, they're called confidants in Persona 5. There's they're the same thing. But those connections it's really it really is the power of friendship and you know friendship has a very broad definition right. power of connection with other people yeah as, as much as that is like a joking power dynamic there is some sliver of truth to those depending on how wild that statement's being taken yep 100 <laughs> percent. so uh and then kind of like as a non sequitur i i think this conversation we just had with ryoji really hammers in his connection to the death arcana whether mm. it's directly or indirectly because like he's still giving off that same vibe as pharaohs and concluding the death social link again seeing him right after that there's just mm -hmm. a lot of pieces that like all sit in the same bubble at the very least yes yeah, I mean, it, death can have many meanings, but yeah, at, at least in this game, it's very poignant. And so having two characters, even if they're the same or some other kind of connection, right. would make a lot of sense. Um, death and another meaning for death would be rebirth as well, which also makes a lot of sense given what we are theorizing is going on with him. Right, so. and and the, the loosely based theme. I think we talked about this near the beginning of our playthrough, but the loose loose theme of this this kind of memento mm -hmm. mori the whole game right so right. death having such a prominent role makes sense yeah indeed all right all right junpei what you got what's up want to check out the outdoor hot spring oh <laughs> let's go oh boy sweet now that we've talked about all these deep topics and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready yeah we gotta have sure. some you know uh some light Funny moments yeah. to you know some of Junpei's nonsense here. To, yeah, to let's relief. go ahead and handle that. Yeah, what kind of shenanigans right. are we going to get into? Gotta have some of that. Oh man, hey Sonata, did you hear about this? Come to think of it, isn't this the first time we've all gone to the baths together? 
Yep. This won't end poorly at all. <laughs> Hot springs are so relaxing. Yep, okay. Good good talk. Alright, yep, let's return to the room. Do you know this hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? So, there's a chance we could switch to girls only while we're still in here. Oh what Steven. even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? Oh, man. <laughs> This is definitely going to blow up in our faces. Yep. Blow up how? Even still, can't help but think maybe fate wants us to be here. Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Oh, Junpei is. A hundred percent. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? Junpei and Ryoji seem to be acting strange. So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? About five minutes ago. Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Yoji kun Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei kun Oh, man. <laughs> you morons. <laughs> so that's why we came at such a strange time. Uh, it's not a nose immediately. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour, but don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh man, what are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know. That it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow, this hot spring is huge. Oh shit! Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky... Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! <laughs> Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Mitsuru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Yeah, you totally planned it, Junpei. Did you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Yeah. <laughs> executed? <laughs> yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Oh, geez. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. Oh. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't going to cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Yay, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? Okay, so there oh. are a few options we could pick here. Uh, we do have the escape option available. We can get caught uh, it is possible to reload to see both routes, but uh, what do you think? What, what should we do here? Uh, there's a part of me that wants Junpei to get stuck in his poor decisions, but Sonata yeah. and I got roped into this without knowing what was going on, and so there's like a... <laughs> I'm split. Um, so, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I have the escape option. We can basically do anything else. So, you know, we can either do the escape or we can do the whole, you know, pick whatever you think is a good idea. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Hmm. 
That's fun. Let's escape. Okay, so we're gonna pick the first option. Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, mm -hmm. you really know what you're doing. But part of me wants to be like, can we trip Junpei on the way out? Mm-hmm. This is a rubber duck in the stream. No, there's no one here. See, you have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? <laughs> rubber Looks ducky. Looks like we bought ourselves some time. But if the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted. And Suru and Agus are probably close too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? Use the duck as a red herring. I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. Uh, what herring? And why is it red? Bro. <laughs> he Bro. can explain later. Ah, what was that? Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. Good thing well, I guess is waterproof. We know where they are now. This is our chance. Whoa, hang on! We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that. Hmm. Okay, so now what we need to do is just follow my lead. Whoa, so much confidence. You're like a natural born leader. Well, you got us this far. Might as well go all in with you. All right. Let's move. Hmm? Uh, no, it couldn't be. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, obviously. How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific. Please don't. Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. <laughs> ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. I don't know how, but we made it out. All thanks to you. That was for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. One wrong step, and Mitsuru would have had our heads. Certainly went for Junpei or Ryoji. Uh, where did Junpei and Mochizuki go? I don't care. Let them get in trouble. Huh? Junpei kun and Ryoji kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all <laughs> red. Are they okay? <laughs> I bet they were doing something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like the heat got to them. Arma. Guess they got what was coming. Collapse on the floor. Just leave mm. them be. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Right. Last day of the school trip. We'll be leaving Kyoto by bullet train this afternoon. I'm free until then. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, <laughs> mostly because of last night. <sighs> you're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Here they come! Hmm? What's going on, guys? Oh, uh, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. Uh, what are you reflecting on? Huh? Uh, oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. Mm. 
This secret stays between us, got it? You guys better take it to the grave. I have a feeling Mitsuru might know. She might. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hello. Ken. Wow, that was fast. Uh... Oh man, I'm so tired. But it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I brought you back some souvenir stories, so I'll tell them yet later. Oh. Oh, okay. I'll be looking forward to them. Hmm. We can't go to Tardis tonight. We're all too tired. Let's go tomorrow night. Even though we don't have anything to fight for anymore. And yet we still have a full moon coming. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be very ready for harvest now too. Maybe I should go check on them. All right. Yeah, let's do that. And we are going to give Ken a souvenir. Sweet. SP items. Soul spinach. Go ahead. Uh. Golden tomato? Sure, let's do it. December 5th. Land of the golden tomato. Alright. Uh, lounge. No, that's not what I wanted. Lounge. I want to lounge around. In. Huh? You really got me a souvenir? What should I give him? Aha! Yeah, so we can pick any of these. Uh, I don't know that there is a specific one we should give him, so any of them is fine. Let's do the Competo. Spiky candies. Thank you very much! Wow, Competo! I love Competo! Thank you for the there candy! By the way, you guys look a bit uncomfortable around the girls. Did something happen on the school trip? <laughs> don't don't okay. worry about that, buddy. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Um, so we are going to watch the recording now. So we go to the control center. We haven't done that in a bit. That's true, we haven't. Mm -hmm. Console. To Bank of consoles. Seems to be a new recording. Yes, let's watch it. Eleven thirteen two thousand nine. Starting playback. <laughs> Looks like Kamada's room. <sighs> this room really is too small to practice in. <sighs> but come to think of it, I guess I don't have to practice in secret anymore. Although. I don't live on the first floor here, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. Hmm. I chose a long weapon so I could match the reach of an adult. But then I learned that long weapons are actually better suited for tall people. Ow. Oh, I hit my shin again. Jeez, I hope I get taller soon. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, yeah. Where'd my milk go? Speaking of growing. All right. Oh, he's got like six different containers of milk in his room. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot of milk. Holy crap. Maybe I should be drinking more milk. Hmm. It hurts my stomach sometimes, though. <sighs> you know, for as smart of a kid as he is, that is such kid logic. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Still a kid. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say we're probably walking Koromaru. Mm, we are indeed walking Koromaru. <laughs> I, I knew it. <laughs> Let's go for a walk, buddy. Looks like Koromaru is really happy to see you. You guys have been gone for a while. You guys must have had a lot of fun on the trip. You've all been talking about it non-stop when we hang out in the lounge. Koromaru and I were the only ones left behind at the dorm, so it was really quiet during that time. I can't remember the last time I spent so many nights without hearing a peep. I stayed up late watching TV with Koromaru in the lounge. 
Then I'd doze off for a while, but it was actually so quiet. I couldn't sleep right. Hmm? What's the matter? I think there's something he wants to give you, Senpai. Amethyst. Oh boy. <laughs> I feel like I've been able to tell what Koromaru is thinking lately. It's probably because we spent so much time alone together these past few days. Fastly approaching the end of uh, November. Mm hmm. I can hear people talking. Seriously? I was so excited about having next Monday off, but then I remembered Career Experience Week starts Tuesday. It's lame we have to work even though we don't get paid. What jobs did you get? No way, man. Tuesday, Wednesday, I got a construction job, and on Thursday and Friday, it's at the gas station. You know what? Dang, that sucks, and a teacher's gonna be keeping an eye on us the whole time, too. Career Experience Week starts Tuesday. Where will my job be? Hmm. Cafe. What is it? Uh, cafe. Um. Wow, why can't I remember it either? <laughs> it's the pheromone copy. This is all I was getting at. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did you all enjoy your school trip? I sure, I sure didn't. I couldn't care less about shrines and temples. Well, career experience week starts Tuesday. Just think of it as another boring field trip for social studies. It's pretty tough out there in the real world. If you don't know what I mean, by the end of this week, you will. Myself, though, I'm just happy I'll have the chance to relax. Does anyone have any fond memories from a trip they'd like to share with the class? Come on now, don't turn away from me. I'm feeling sleepy. We'll stay awake. So, my idea for this cool trip was GOM. Guam. Not GOM. That's, that's weak. <laughs> Mika, which is mountain seeping in. Uh, <laughs> but none of the other teachers agreed. In fact, they all had their own ideas. Mr. Ikoda stumped for Kyoto, like always. Mr. Ono wanted to go, um, somewhere northeast of Japan. I'm still not sure why. Probably because of the Sengoku era. Miss Oinishi suggested a hot spring, and Mr. Takanozuka wanted to ride the maglev train. Miss Tarachi didn't care where we went, as long as she could bring her husband. Man, is she annoying. What we need is someone to unite the rest of the staff against a certain someone. Then we can finally fight against this annual Kyoto slog. Force myself to stay awake during the lecture. Excellent. Class is ended for today. Yep. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and complete request 96. Maiko. I haven't heard from Maiko in a while. Ever since and... we rescued her before then, actually. All right. Uh, requests. In Polonia Mall. Yes, indeed. In the velvet room, I should say. Right. All right. Hello. Marvelous. I can sense the power growing within your stems from the bonds you have forged and nurtured. Here, and there may not be much, but this gift is for you. Please accept it. I'm looking forward it will to it. Always take more twilight fragments, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. About requests. Here are my requests. Okay, so we need to obtain Odin juice. Uh, let's go to. Okay, my bad. We have to go to the corridor Very at well. the school. Okay. So let's go grab that, and we will be able to get Odin juice from a friendly student. Right. That's right. Oh, the drink. Can I see it? Ooh, is this the limited edition drink you can only get in Kyoto? Wow, impressive. I have to say, I love these rare drinks. Have you seen the Odin juice? It's only available in the fall. You want some? Well, I can't let you have it for free. I'll need, let's say, 5,000 yen to part with it. Okay, I guess. <laughs> yep. What? Are you really going to pay me 5,000 yen for this? Wow, you must be a rare drink maniac. Thanks, though. Now I can get my own rare drink. I feel like I've been scammed. 
Hey, mm. maybe you could help out a fellow rare drink maniac. Do you think it would be make those persimmons into a drink? Maniacs all over the country would like it. Sure. Why not? <clears throat> Alright, now. Good day. Here are my requests. Wonderful. It seems completed a request. Ah, so that's the legendary Odin juice, though at first glance it appears to be an ordinary can of juice. Oh, it's warm. Is that true? This grainy mouthfeel, it must be one of the ingredients in Odin. Yeah, it feels like icon? Or maybe an egg? How very mysterious. You have my thanks. I see technology advances at a rapid pace. I will wait until later to savor the taste of this juice. Please take this as your reward. Winter uniform. Hooray. Hmm. Okay. So request 96 is complete. That's all we need to do. So now we need to go to the school building first floor. And do we have an Empress personas, uh, persona? That's a good question. This is technically going to be rank one, so we don't actually need one. But let's see. I think we have a few of these done. Or we don't need more. Um, Temperance is at nine. I don't think we'll need it again. Yeah, and that's the easiest. And Magician is also at nine. We won't need that one either. Yeah, that's very true. Either one of those should be okay. Since that's the level 12. Yeah. All right. It's been a minute since I've seen the blue of this room. The Velvet Room. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Uh. Registering persona. Sure. Why not? Will you register it to the com I've completed registration? This Summon. This is your progress so far. Registered only. Uh, temperance, death, hang, strength, fortune, stress, charity. Should have gone the other way. Hierophant, Emperor, Empress. Here we go. Does that persona catch your eye? Leonan Sid. Mm hmm. This persona, yes. Oh, yeah, this is works. Leonan Sid. Yep. May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? I am. Thank you for asking. We look for. All right. Alrighty. Yes, town map. Forgot what I was doing for a second. First floor school building. Oh, she's got a card over her head. Yep, Mitsu. this is what we are doing today. <laughs> We're going to start her social link. Hello. Ah, Yuki. I've been hearing a lot about you lately. It sounds like you're studying hard. <laughs> I'm impressed, but try not to stress yourself out. But you're one to talk. Hmm. This um, might be a better chance to get to know her better. By the way, Yuki, this is completely unrelated, but I'd like to talk to you about something. If you don't mind, can you spare some time? Sure. I see. Excellent. Well, um, did you come with me? I'd rather not talk about it here. So, um... I need to know the etiquette of this place. Are there any customs I should follow? Hmm. Slurp the noodles. Add a lot of <laughs> toppings. Don't let it get soggy. Drink all the soup. Yeah, it does not matter what we pick for any of these. Pick whatever you would I'm like. I'm gonna go with slurp the noodles because it's so out of character for her. Oh boy. Oh, right. Slurping is considered polite. I've heard about that. Have you? I hope I can do this correctly. Actually, now with then, the ramen store, I, I can let believe us begin. that. Yep. Bon appétit. Hmm. What a fascinating flavor. I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a <laughs> subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Actually, ramen sounds really good right Excuse now. me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? Mm hmm. Chef de Cuisine? talking to me? Mm. 
Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chefs. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? What the hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss, can't tell you. <laughs> That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table. I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as well. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. Oh boy. Uh, that ain't exactly... Well, whatever. <laughs> Worlds. You're, you're not understanding this, Mitsuru. Oh, oh dear. Worlds apart. Yeah. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry. Um, my imagination got the best of me. Um, I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. They, they already do that. Do you find that unusual? All cup noodles. <laughs> not at all. Oh. Good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. I would love to return here in the future. Yeah. I saw an unexpected side of Mitsuru. I feel like our relationship has and, grown. And now it begins. It's been a while since we had one of these intros. I am thou. Mm -hmm. Thou art I. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest. To create a persona of the Empress Arcana. I didn't notice the time. We should be going. We decided to go back to the dorm. Welcome back. Hi, how was your day? ryoji -kun was just here. He came to hang out with junpei -kun. It's not often that we get visitors here. Yeah. Yeah, do you think it's okay? I'm actually surprised that he's not with a girl. <laughs> hey, where's Igas? Um, I saw her on the second floor. Really? Oh, maybe she's with Koromaru. It's not Igas to be gone. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we are going to do double rank eight this evening. Okay. <laughs> Tanaka! Tanaka, not shady guy at all. Right. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Oh? Oh, well, if it is a Yuki, I can teach you a life lesson you won't want to miss. It's even free of charge. What a snake. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, spend the evening with President Tanaka. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Then for today, I have a story that's fresh off the press. I'm used to being accosted by people, but recently I had an interesting encounter. It was a young man, not much older than you. Do you know what he said to me? He said, thank you. You must have misheard. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he say that? <laughs> Amazing. I'm not proud of this or anything, but I couldn't care less what our customers think. Don't you know who I am? I'm the president of a company that sells fake products. But then he told me he quit his part-time job and was going to study to become a public prosecutor. He wants to punish businessmen like me for bending the rules. He said I was an example of a negative role model, even though I wasn't aware of it. Maybe I'm overreacting, but what if he does become a public prosecutor and puts me behind bars? I suppose that means I wouldn't be able to give you my advice anymore. Well, if you're doing stuff to get put behind bars, perhaps it's not great advice. 
Uh, I understand it a little better now. Devil rank eight. My shareholders ought to take a leaf out of that boy's book. Apparently, it's these days aren't as naive as we thought. Mm hmm. It's getting late. I'll go back to the door. Hmm. Oh, uh, Chidori. What am I drawing? Why is this? That's a good question. What, what are you drawing? <gasps> it's been a while. That voice. Yep. Hey, I'm guys. glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments, if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. Uh. Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. Fear itself. It's all his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. And now, mm. I'm afraid to die. Hey, Chidori, hurry it up. Medea, let's go. There's no school today because it's Sunday. It's almost yeah, time. Medea. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Uh, it's almost time for the home shopping show. Yeah, Medea is an interesting figure. Uh, we can maybe get into that a little bit later when it becomes a little more relevant. But um, I think we're starting to see a little of why she re reacted to Junpei the way she did mm. and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So. so we've got a based off the of last conversation and last episode and now it sounds like we need to make a note of all the arcana that we want to talk about as well as any personas that we want to discuss so what's that oh yeah 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 indeed yeah oh hey we got like a little model from our time at kyoto that's cute yeah, we got a souvenir for ourselves. Um, we can go ahead and buy uh, drinks today. It is a Sunday. There's nothing that says anything about doing Tanaka today. Okay. Give me my drinks. Gotta get my drink on. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of Red Bulls. Or Mad Bulls, excuse me. Red Bull doesn't exist in this world. <laughs> excuse me. Mad Bulls, yeah. <laughs> sorry for the product placement. I'm so sorry. Hashtag not sponsored. Or whatever. Alright. And soda station. Alright, what are we doing after we grab our drinks? After we grab our drinks, we are doing Sun, rank 7. Makes sense. Yup. Gonna keep that going. We're getting through November, aren't we? Sure are. Cooking at a right pace. Honestly, it's kind of nice, though, because I was afraid we were going to get kind of slogged into it the way the first week was going. Yeah, indeed. And I like it when we're making good progress. Because there's lots of, lots of talk about, you know? Of course. Ah, it's you. I've been looking forward to the next time I could speak with you. Let's go. Thank you. You'll stay? Thank you, truly. I've been writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little bird sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. 
He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up. But he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. Brutal. Yeah, that is rough. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter what we do here. I would probably do. It sounds really depressing. Yeah. But <laughs> that's just kind of my response. Yeah, but there's... So... There's a poignancy to it. Hmm, that's true. And... Even depressing stories can be good and beautiful, right? So, absolutely, they can. I think that is relevant to this game specifically uh, as a whole. That's true. <laughs> yeah. You really think so? Then maybe you'll enjoy the final product. I always thought the only thing I could give other people was hopelessness, but maybe. I mean, that's you know. When I mentioned I was writing a diary... That... That type of storytelling is the kind of narrative that professors and teachers will dissect to see the deeper meaning. And I think that alone gives it some value that, you know, other narratives might not have. Yeah, so what do you think of the analysis specifically when you say that? Like, what could this mean sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. So, like, um, you know, we've we've talked about media literacy before. I don't remember if we've done it in an episode or not. But the idea behind, like, I could see people studying this and trying to decide, you know, is there a reason there's an al that the alligator is pink, right? Um, ah, versus yes, the pink alligator, right? Yes. Versus like you know, blue or purple. I mean, it could have been any color that was different from the rest and still stand out. Why was the pink mm. the chosen color? What is the significance of that? And then, why a bird? Why not a chipmunk or something else? Like, there's layers to the choices that the author makes. Mm. And of course, with death of the author, we inscribe our own meaning upon what we're reading. So you'll get lots of right. different results. But I just think that type of writing, the story that he's relaying in sentences as a, as a, a narrative like novel uh, would be thought provoking and would inspire the dissection of that and kind of anal analyzing what's really happening in that narrative. Right. And possibly even determining how the author was feeling at the time of writing those things. All right, anyway. That was a lie. I was writing my will. I, mm. I couldn't face mm. reality, and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know. Lucky is looking deep into my eyes. I feel like our relationship is stronger now. We're getting there with him. I wonder how this one's going to end. With a book in our hand? I've been trying to come up with a good ending. Yeah, probably. From somebody I else. can't decide. And I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. Hmm. Parted ways with Comic Key and then headed back to the dorm. Yeah, I, he's a character who's grown on me. I, I wasn't sure how to read him before. Welcome back. Sup, dude? Yeah, he's 
I mean, he's in a really bad situation, of course. Right. But... Yeah, he's um, it's a hard place to be, and I think he's. I th I th again, I think we've talked about this before, but sometimes when you're in the the neck in the deep of the things that are making you feel sad and depressed and all of that sometimes what you need is some normalcy right like a lot of the times when i have interacted with uh you know people who are like have prosthetic legs or in wheelchairs or whatever a lot of times they just want to be treated like somebody who is just like everybody else and there's a tendency to want to be quick to assume they need help with something or otherwise because of their um disabilities mm, you know yeah uh, and, when they want to be yeah and and yeah. what people really mm. want when dealing with those things is to be a normal person and so yes like they want to feel human right and i don't think there's anything wrong with being like hey you need help but yeah, letting letting them take the lead in that I think is really important. Um, and not treating them tenderly just because they're dealing with disability, I think is really important too. At least from at least from experiences. I mean, I, everybody's different, obviously. But yeah, it depends on the person for sure, and it's possible that there are things that they've heard a lot as they're dealing with the things they're dealing with right. in their life, you know, and it's like, hey, don't say this specifically kind of thing, but yeah. Right, right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, tonight, we are having coffee with Ken. Be with Ken. Ken's Coffee Corner. That's right. This is kind of coming out of nowhere, but um, would you like some coffee right now? Not the instant stuff, but with properly ground beans and all that. I saw someone prepare coffee on a show, and I wanted to try doing it myself. All right. Yuki-san, if you don't mind, could you maybe be my taste tester? Sure. All right. Let's do it. Hey, I'll get started right away. Boy, howdy, do we know somebody who's good at making coffee. Oh, the inside of my mouth. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Salt. Coffee? Uh, I mean, coffee's meant to be taken black, don't you think? It's the only way to experience the natural taste of the beans. Brother, you don't have to hide from me. I use creamer in all my coffee. <laughs> the one from mm. Brazil is very smooth. While the Kilimanjaro one is more sour and full-bodied. Fascinating. As long as it's drinkable. Uh, <laughs> where's today's from? Yeah. Oh, um, it's called a value pack blend. Oh my. I bought it at the supermarket. <laughs> Does the quality of the beans really affect the flavor that much? Maybe I'll try some better ones next time. Yeah, I imagine it does. Anyways, sorry for the sudden invite, but they say that drinking coffee can help you relax and concentrate better. I just thought something like that might benefit us in our upcoming battles. And I figured if I could learn to make good coffee, people might find that useful. I'll do some more research. I can tell there's room for improvement. I can tell you, sorry coffee does help in you battle. To help me clean up too. <laughs> Please take the leftovers with you. Although, you might not necessarily like it. It's okay coffee. <laughs> sure, I'd prefer my coffee to taste good, but I could do without all the test sips. Uh, it's not that I don't appreciate the flavor. It's just that it's not good for an elementary school kid to drink too much. So, and you seem like someone who'd appreciate a good cup of coffee, like from a cafe. I hope you have another cup the next time I make some. I'll make sure it tastes better by then. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they must be. This, well then, good night. This might be sacrilege for coffee lovers, but they do make decaf. Oh man! <laughs> at least this late at night, right? Like, yeah. I mean, that's that's cool. What do we got going here. Sorry to wake you. Oh, hello. Um, I'm not sure how to say this. Hmm. But you need to go to the fourth floor, and please hurry. Okay. Interesting. What's going on? Yamagishi detected a presence. Mm. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Shh. 
Strega. Strega. <sighs> They're still alive. <sighs> Those bastards! First the Dark Hour doesn't go away, and now Strega's back? What the heck's going on? <sighs> Yamagishi, can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... Is it Chidori? I thought she was in the hospital. That's what I thought. Huh? No, she's... She's inside! Ah! What's wrong? Long time no see. Oh. Oh. She Hi! She hijacked the transmission? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. Uh-huh. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to oh, me. Wow. <sighs> Yamagishi! I'm... Okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? <sighs> Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! Jeez, dude. What? Junpei, come back! We can't let him go alone. Not this time. Yeah, indeed. This is almost certainly a trap, but it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. Hmm. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning, so choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. Oh, okay then. All right, well. Okay, so... Yeah, there's nothing here about what we should do at this point. So I think this is just some story events that we're going to run through here and see what happens. But maybe, just to be a real pill, we'll do it next time. Yeah, I mean, hanger. we can definitely... Yeah, cliffhanger, what's going to happen to Iori? Oh, no. What is Chidori doing? Not the cliffy. <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> oh, how could you? How could you? <laughs> Austin said, "How could you?" <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but we are at about uh, time, and this is a great stopping point. It, it listen, I'll be just as frustrated that I won't get to see it until the next episode as much as you will. So, yeah, for our recording schedule, we're gonna have to wait almost a week to see what happens. Right, so, so we'll be suffering we'll, just we'll, as much as you. Chill. That's. Actually, more because you know, our <laughs> episodes come out a little more frequently than that's that. That's true. So. That's true. We'll be waiting longer than you will. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. No. This is. Um. Yeah. I agree. This is a good kind of stopping point here. So yeah. Let's figure out what happened. At least Chidori's out of the hospital. Yay? Question mark. Y yay. That might be good for someone. Maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Um. Unsurprising. Mm -hmm. Strega's back. So that'll be interesting yeah. to deal with. Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed what you've been watching, great. I love to hear it. Can you please help us out by letting others know via the subscribe, you know, the notification bell, you, you like comments, all that stuff really helps us out. Every a lot. algorithm thing right. ever hit all the buttons. Um, mm -hmm. it really does help us out a lot and feel free to leave comments, whether it's about the story or about your your own interpretations of some of the things we've discussed in this episode or in previous ones or about nothing related to this game at all. It could be completely inane. We still enjoy having that conversation with you. So we please do. do that and share with your friends. Let them know how silly and dumb we are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mostly silly. Just just call us silly, please. Yeah. <laughs> Although today I've had some case of the dumbs. Maybe not so much in the the video you guys have seen, but it's it's been a little rough today on some some, some stuff. Some days there are struggles. Yes, ha, to, ha, <laughs> to, to, to struggle is to be human. Yes. Um, but yeah, yeah. And if you don't want to wait till the next episode because you no, know, you want more content, we've got plenty of games that have completed episode uh, completed playlists. 
And we also have our ongoing stuff too. So, you know, of course, we're, we're playing Persona 3 right now, but on like on Saturdays, we have our Salt and Sanctuary playthroughs. And, you know, on Tuesdays, we got our tea times. And Fridays, we have very games playing as well. So there's constant stuff being uploaded every week. And then, of course, we have our completed stuff too, like Skies for Arcadia, Xeno Gears, Coffee Talk, Wind Waker, you know, Little Kitty Big City, all kinds of stuff. So I'm sure you'll find something that you'll enjoy. I know we were cracking up through most of all of them. So if you're like me, you'll laugh. <laughs> yep. yep. Same here, man. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, more than anything else, we are uh, just so grateful that we got to be part of your day. So thank you so much. And we hope you do have a wonderful day. And we will see you all in the next video. See you next time, everyone. Bye bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Do 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 do! Thanks for watching!